Hey, this is Jeremiah Pugh, and you're watching Slasher Pepper. Enjoy that shit, motherfuckers. Hey guys, Slasher Pepper, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be interviewing Jeremiah Pugh from the new band, Vendet. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Awesome. Um, so, when did you start playing bass, and what inspired you to? Um, at first, I played guitar. And, you know, growing up, you know, like rock band and guitar hero, I played that a lot. And I played drums and rock band and guitar hero. I, I just absolutely loved it and all the music on it. And then in uh, middle school, there is a guitar class, like a music class. And that's what really got me into playing guitar. And then I played guitar for maybe three or four years around then. And then I got like just a little bit bored of it. So then I switched on to bass and here I am. Now. Awesome. That's cool. I hear it a lot that people first play guitar and then turn to bass. Uh, even Lemmy did from Motorhead, which is kind of crazy. To th you can't imagine him playing guitar, you know? Yeah. What's it like working together with Griffin, Simon, Cole, and Connor? Oh, it's great. You know, they're, we're just, it's, it's just, we're all friends, you know? We all hang out outside the band. We all hang out with the band. We all joke around, have fun and everything. You know, it's, we're, we're just all friends. That's the only way I can really explain it. And we all get along pretty well. That's awesome. And how did you think the first Vendette that show went? Oh, it was great. It was absolutely great. It was, it was just weird, you know, cause I was just walking around. I'm like, well, all these people are here for Vendette, you know? Well, I saw some footage from the first show online and I thought it looked amazing. And I, uh, you know, wish I could have been there. Yeah. You know. <laughs> A lot, a lot of people wish they could have been there. Oh yeah, you know? yeah, that must be that must feel pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's just a small show. It it got packed pretty quick. I was surprised. What are some of your favorite metal bands or or well musicians? Uh, many musicians, like bands or specific people. Um, specific people or bands. A uh, musician I looked up to, like the first one, you know, was Kurt Cobain from Nirvana. That was because their their songs were so easy to play. That's why I liked it a lot and the energy, you know. And then as it slowly just started getting heavier and heavier. And I'll be honest, I listened to way too many different bands. I can't name, you know, specific bands that really got me into metal and everything. But you know, I just I just listened to legitimately everything. Yeah, you you get to hear that a lot more now because it's it's not just oh I listen to this subgenre and this subgenre you know it's it's kind of turned into you know I listen to whatever I like which I'm like that myself as well. If it sounds yeah, good. I, I'll I can't to just it. sit and listen. To right. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think? Um, this is a more you know general question. What do you think hell looks like? What I think hell looks like. Um, you know, I'm, I'm atheist. I don't really necessarily believe in anything, but I do believe in some kind of afterlife, you know. Um, I feel hell, hell, or, you know, since I did go to church when I was little, it's just endless torture. It's something that you did. That's usually, that's, that's just what I think. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hope I don't end up there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where do you hope you and the band will be in 10 years? 10 years, dude, just selling out arenas, just selling out places, just big crowds, you know, be a couple albums in. It's pretty much it, really. It sounds like a plan. Yeah. Um, is there anything you would like to add to the interview? Um, no, not really. Thank you so much for your time, man. Thank you. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's gonna be wild tonight. Oh, 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 oh,